Mark's ordered a skip. I forgot and just it was there and nearly reversed the car into it. <laughs> and we are off to take our uh, very, very, very smelly Chi -Chi dog. She stinks of She's shit. She's rubbed in fox shit. We've washed it off and it still stinks. So we're taking to the groomers and they I've are going to be in the car. Like... shaved. Oh, I'm going to say take every bit of hair off. I don't care. I know they don't look as cute, but. No, just can't deal off. with it. With off. them rolling all the time, they've just got to go baldy. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I feel like I've just come straight out of a telephone meeting and we're going straight into heading off again. Yeah. Uh, and then, else and then Matt Kiki wants to go to, to go skateboarding, so I thought she could do that while we have coffee. Fantastic. Oh, right, that's the skateboard. Yeah. Are you meeting anyone? No. Oh, and then that's PE done. Good. Well, we could go to this coffee shop at the station so that we're nearby. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, home time. Welcome to home time. Uh, I'm off out tonight. Guess where I'm going? Because I don't want Mark coming back from... Going to see a Clockwork Orange with my mum. Yeah, and then having to film that and then starting editing. Because last night, he didn't get up to bed till 2 a.m. Yeah, some of our followers knew because I was commenting to them. I was saying, hello. So hello. we're going to do a shorter vlog tonight. So we're going to film everything before you go out basically. It takes so long doesn't it to get a dog groomed? I mean they will be there two hours now, minimum. Yeah. Well that is partly because as you probably saw yesterday Toffee will take your arm off. Yeah. I mean she will, she's not a pleasant dog to... No, every she... time you take her to groomer they always say she bites a bit, she nips a bit. Yeah they never quite say it as, you can see in their eyes they're trying to say it, they want to yeah. do. It's like when you're the parent of a child that's really badly behaved and they're going yeah yeah, yeah it's lovely. Yeah. It's lovely. Stinky poo bombs. I feel really sorry for them because they think they're going for a W A L A. Yeah, oh, Toffee's not she's stupid. Toffee. Toffee hurt. Toffee's not stupid. Toffee knows. Where are you going, Toffs? Oh. <laughs> Where are you going, Ch Chi Chi? It's caked. Are you shit. No, I've cleaned it off. Mm -hmm. I just cleaned it again. <laughs> Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Chi Chi, where are you going? Okay. We're going to pull the other way. Yeah. Just, just so we're suddenly going. Toffee will. Oh, actually. I think Toffee remembers already. I'm not that excited okay. now. <laughs> She'll say, oh, actually, I'm not that excited yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> See you, doggies. Very good. Hello. Hello. Hey. Oh, so we didn't make it to the park after you dropped to the door. Girls, just explain the level of Daddy's excitement. I'm, I'm trying to be beyond the trailer, who is like America's most successful movie reviewer, movie news. I want to give her a run for her money. I want to be as big as her, as good so as explain, her. Explain, explain to people. So oh, basically, there's always a there's always a rush, isn't there, when a new trailer comes yeah, yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, You want to be the first on the block to kind of yeah. get your reaction out, just because it generates real sort of excitement and fun and. Uh, yeah, you want to be the first ones out there with your opinion. So we were on the way to the park to take Kiki skateboarding and suddenly Mark came to a careering well, stop, I reversed, my lunch first. set up here. This is how we review the trailers. Inhaled Just my baguette. The computer goes he on, the, on the first day. He inhaled his baguette. He inhaled his wrap, yeah. Oh, and then he put the camera on there and then we just literally sit. It was like from a movie. Trailers. It was like from a movie. You came speeding down, me and Mum got and you were like, trailers are <laughs> <laughs> How he didn't shake to death on that bloody oh, yeah. well, wrap, I don't know. So is he as good, the new Go Joker? Go to the trailer reaction. Is he as good, that's what I'm going to say, as Maddie's favourite, who's your favourite? Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger is obsessed. Maddie's obsessed with Heath Ledger. Put it this way, we're all very excited. Yeah. So go to the um, playlist and check out our reactions to trailers. To see, just how excited everybody was. <sighs> Uh, Heath Ledger's father said that he looked at the diary, Heath Ledger's diary that he was writing in when he was playing the Joker. The dancer had said what it said, but he said it was incredibly dark. Really? Was there, is there, was there um, speculation that the part itself had depressed him? Yeah, I think he said in something that, uh, oh, he said something about the Joker's part being so dark that it made him feel... Did he, did he kill himself whilst he was filming it, or had they finished? Had finished. Yeah, no, yeah, did he categorically commit suicide? Uh, or was he just, did well, he, he just OD? I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> I think he OD'd on prescription yeah. drugs. But I wonder if that was just a mistake, drugs and drink, drugs and drink, whether he actually did it. 
But um, he left a child, didn't he, with Michelle yeah, yeah, Williams? Yeah, so yeah. sad. The, the mum, Kiki, and Great Showman. This is why. Oh. oh what, give us some of his Joker quotes. Yeah, See, for me, Joker. for me, the Joker was more interesting than Batman. You see, the thing about Batman is everyone Everyone's remembers more Batman. Interesting than Batman. <laughs> Everyone's more interested than Batman. <laughs> well, that's a good line. Kiki says, when so Kiki boring. talks, she says it is. <laughs> Batman, even Batman finds himself boring. Do you remember Batman and Robin, the, 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 this TV yeah, series? Yeah, but that was Cesar Romero who played the Joker in that. He was brilliant he with was the green good. hair and the <gasps> eyes, and he looked like that. But, um,. Yeah, so, Heath Ledger, so the Joker... Do you, want, do you want to know why I use a knife? Guns are too quick. You can't savour all the little emotions you see in their last moments. People mm. show you who they really are. So in a way, I know your friends better than you did. <gasps> Would you like to know which one of them were cowards? Oh! <laughs> Babe, that's the kind of thing you say in a row. Yeah. Madness, really as you know, is a lot like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's a good one. Do you want to dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Oh no, that wasn't that wasn't Heath Ledger's Joker. Oh, uh, wasn't it? That was Jack Nicholson's. Yes. Who was the worst Joker? The worst Joker, probably Jared probably, Leto. Probably Jared Leto. Yeah. Suicide Squad. Smile because it confuses people. Smile because it's easier than explaining what is killing you inside. That you, you That's are me. the Joker. I'm the Joker. Hang on. Oh my God. Hang on, Maddie. All yeah. these quotes are applicable to your mother. <laughs> I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you stranger. Oh, stranger. Oh, stranger. Come on, we need to go. Okay. So, we like to tell you about new products we've found. I'm a big fan of these naked bars. <laughs> that was nice. New one, banana crunch. What's it like? It's very banana-y mm. and it's very crunchy. Mark! Do you get that out of your mouth. That's terrible. <laughs> Sometimes I That's find... That's piggishness, Mark. No, sometimes you can only truly taste something if your entire mouth is overwhelmed <laughs> by the flavour. Kiki, don't ever copy Daddy. Despicable. Is there only for your blueberry muffin left? No. Oh. So I haven't got nothing. have got another one of it. So banana -y. Because you had the whole thing at once in two mm. seconds. No, You're but supposed to let it... It tastes better when you just put it all in your mouth. I don't right, agree. Like crisps. I don't no, agree. But my... Like crisps, it's like... Oh. Ah. Do you know what I used to do when I was a kid, Kiki? What? I used to buy big bags of chip sticks. I don't know if they have chips. Yeah, I remember anymore. those. And we'd grind them like that, grind and grind. We'd all stand there, grinding, grinding, grinding. Grind. And then we'd go like that and pour and them in our them. mouth and be coughing. Yeah. Oh, it's so that. annoying when people do that. Is it? Don't I love kids do that crisps. anymore. Crisp I, crusher. I loved it. I used to drink it. I'm a crisp crusher. Can I have another banana cruncher? No, I didn't get two banana crunches. Patches all at once. Why not? I wanted a bite of that. I was going to tell the subs what it was like. Well, one of the other reasons I tend to shove everything in my mouth really fast is I was an only child, and so I thought unless I didn't do that, then there wouldn't be food. That is not an excuse because it's when you've got siblings you have oh, to do that because your I was siblings are going to eat as I went it. Along. Oh, God, it was weak. <laughs> <laughs> Keep so, Maddie, Kiki, are you going skateboarding? Yeah. You don't want to now, do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Maddie, Maddie found the clip of the very moment I think I gave you tinnitus. She Has played she? it the other night. We should show it to the me. subs. Get it for me. Proof. Yeah. So, Kiki's just gone off to uh, skateboard and we have turned the car into our office. <laughs> That's what we've done. So she can just skateboard for as long as she likes. Mark, stop it. Stop it. There aren't any more banana crunches. Get over it. So we are turning this into office, she said, it was so lovely. She just said, so how long have I got? And we said, as long as you want. So even if she skates boards for three hours, we're going to sit here and we're going to wait Do for you. Do know one of those wishes you were talking about this morning in yeah. our podcast? Yeah. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Why don't we indulge in one of them now? What is it? It involves tassels and the word Mark, nipple. stop it. She's not giving me any more banana crunch. But I've also noticed something that's really annoying. Really annoying. Listen. You're wearing Heidi my Klum. socks. Heidi Klum works Two. on her glute muscles while answering emails. Oh, God. It's like you, babe, in the morning. Look, look that's what, what she's doing. She's doing her ass muscles whilst she's doing her emails. What can you work at the same time as doing your emails? I don't know. I suppose I could be doing my buttocks. I'm doing them now. Squeeze, hold for ten. And relax. And squeeze. Hold for ten. Something about this feels wrong. <laughs> I want to return to my sock. Why have you got my really expensive purple socks on? I've got you one of yours. No, oh, and a pug sock. I wear... Do you know what I, I noticed? Yeah, do you know what I noticed sock. I was wearing the other day? 
I noticed, and I think it had come out of the back of me having had to be quite authoritative with the girls, and then I had to go upstairs and do something, and I was in quite a sort of serious, sort of, you know, kind of conscientious mood. And then I took my shoes off and noticed I was wearing socks from Rosemead. I was basically wearing my then seven-year-old daughter's school socks. And I was wondering... With the purple rose on it. <laughs> purple rose, and I was wondering why... Oh, no, why. it's got the right purple stripe. And that left an indentation <laughs> in, my, in my skin. And I wondered, not surprising as it was. Do you know you've also got chocolate all around your mouth from the blood? And of the I, I wondered why my foot was feeling really sort of tender and swollen. It was because Look, it didn't fall off. Because it was constricting my leg. So I wear children's school socks. Sounds odd, but it's not meant to be. It's just a statement of fact. I know it's become a thing, and everyone just goes, "Oh yeah, where does all the socks go? Where do but they? But where do oh, they? I, have you looked at our green fingered hell? Oh, well, yeah, we do know. They're all at there. the end of the we do know garden. We know. Toffee but if has we're a mania. Honest, if we had tidy washing laundry room. Very true. And one day we will have a laundry room. None of this Very will true. happen. Still doesn't explain why you're wearing my purple. Well, because obviously I couldn't find another effing sock, could I? We just said, right, let's have the production meeting. She said, let's write a list. I have a pen, as you can probably see behind my ear. Oh, God. How to have a production meeting in a very small car. So I then went to the only piece of paper I had available. Oh, I said, when I said write, I don't mean actually write. Who writes? I meant in your phone. So I then placed said <laughs> stickers on my crutch area like that. And as I was looking in my phone to start a note, she suddenly seemed animated and went, oh, I've always wanted stickers. Yeah, nothing more. Kiki. Nothing more interesting than that. Skateboard. She just wants my stickers. There she is. Where would you like to stick them, baby? Oh look, there she's skateboarding. Where? She's such a honey. She doesn't let us film her skateboarding. Will no, she? she won't. She won't let us film her. But she's just going up and down. She's practicing over and over again. I love that. She's so determined. So slightly overprotective. Honestly, go and watch when it comes out. Well, watch our review of mid nineties. It's yeah. going up tomorrow. Watch it. And it just really might inspire your kid to skateboard. And it'll make you rethink what's going on in the heads and hearts of those kids, yeah. those scallywags that are always playing it. at our skater I loved parks. The film. I loved it. Well, we had the most productive business meeting then, didn't we? Well, you were on the market. Yeah, I know, I know. I was okay. desperately trying to have a business meeting. Why didn't you were... ask the subs how they'd like to see food on Instagram? Yeah, uh, oh, hang on. Well, yeah, we were just talking subs. Hang on, sweetheart. I've got to get everything out. We were just thinking about how we might do um, a sort of what shall I cook for dinner tonight yeah. on Instagram because when I'm at work, oh, that's what I always hear everyone saying, well, I don't know what to cook, I don't know what to cook. So we were thinking, what would you like more? Like a minute's, you know, a bit like the body coach does where yeah, he yeah. does like the whole minute, you do a whole recipe in a minute or do you just want a photograph and the recipe? Do you want me to talk or do you want it without talking, just music? So we were just thinking about that. So we'd love to hear what you think. Look what we've got over here, guys. No, Look, it totally matches. New so, gravel. Do you know how you spread gravel onto the floor? No. Huh? Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Is that it? It's exciting, isn't it? Need and look, have a look in here. Do you think this is... Look, I'll tell you what's a bit worrying as well. Look, there's a hole in the bottom. Of... There's a hole, there's a hole in, in my, my bucket, skip, my bucket, my bucket. My bucket. There's a hole in my bucket, bucket, bucket. So I'm about to head off to meet Nanny Di to go and see a really light-hearted film, A Clockwork Orange. Um, it's a classic, though. Well, actually, it's a Clockwork Orange about. It's based I mean, on the Anthony Burgess book. Exactly. Well, I have awesome. memories of seeing it when I was a teenager yeah. and not really understanding what the hell it was about. It's very surreal. Malcolm McDowell. That's right. Um, and so I want to get to grips with it. Why I want to remember it. Precisely, because they're doing tests on him or something. So it's going to be a quite surreal. But of course, it's by one of my favourite filmmakers, Stanley oh, Kubrick. Well, you seen it? Yeah, I saw it when I was a oh. teenager, but I've never looked at it through the eyes of a film student. I never saw it at film college. I, I'd seen it many years before. But also, it's directed by Stanley Kubrick, who has a family connection. Yeah. Because Nadia's parents used to run an animation production company. No, no, no. Before that. My mum's dad, oh, Betty's yeah. dad, special Gonna, effects yeah. man, and he worked on all the old big movies like Space... Well, he worked on 2001 A Space 2001. Odyssey, which was Kubrick's yes. masterpiece. So he knew Stanley Kubrick very well. And then years later, when my mum and dad started an animation company, my 
grandfather arranged for my parents to buy the camera used in... His Rostrum camera. Rostrum. Stanley Kubrick's Rostrum camera from 2001 A Space Odyssey was in that house. And, and I, we just worked, sold it without even thinking. If I'd been on the scene, if Nadia had met me earlier, I'd have done everything in my powers to preserve that piece of kit as a, a family shame. heirloom. Isn't it a shame? And you it's probably the whole room, though. You probably looked at it like it was just a piece of kit. Yeah. There's no... Oh, my God, that's film heritage in the It'd making there. It'd be worth there. a fortune, though. Yeah, worth a fortune. What would so, it be worth? Oh, I don't know. But I'm heading off to see A Clockwork Orange, and I'm looking forward to it, because some of the most emblematic images are from that. You know, the top hats and the, you know, lots of violence and all that sort of stuff. But a bit like this sort of violence here. I seem to remember you doing this the other night, babe. I'm doing, I'm cooking for Maddie what you and Kiki had last night. You're really into but bashing... she missed out because she was at the theatre. You're really into bashing the meat at the moment, aren't you? Shut it. She's, she's, um... She's in a play. Night, yeah, week. yeah, I'm seeing her tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, uh, bless her, she's in something called Variations, which yeah. is uh, exciting. We always love seeing her on stage, just like we love seeing a thing or hearing a thing. Oh, we love seeing our girls. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm off. I'd be interested but to see I've how many die is. When the dogs are finished, I've got a flaming wall So I've got to leave quite soon, yeah. Nadia's got to go and get the dogs. Yeah. Make sure you film them when they come out, because I love them when they're all sparkly and buff. Oh. I'm looking for, you know what I'm looking forward to? What? I'm looking forward to getting back later tonight and actually stroking Chi Chi, because I love... And shagging at the stick Yes, up. not pulling my hand from an, a, a tangled mess of fox shit and goo. That's what I'm looking forward to. Mm. I mean, I'm also looking forward to stroking your back. You Do looking... you want a kiss? Hey? Do you want a kiss? Yeah, result. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so about, okay, those, about those nipple that's tassels. It. That's it. <laughs> So what, super mum? Oh, I have to say, look at those. They look rather divine. Huh? Are those from Maddie, those potatoes? Yep. Oh, look at that. So when I had the oven on yesterday, I just threw in a couple of extra potatoes. It's such a good idea to do that, guys. Whenever you're cooking something else in the oven, just always put in a couple of potatoes and you can just keep them in the fridge. And then look, they're just fried up with a bit of olive oil. And a little bit of oh, oh. garlic powder. A little bit of salt. Delicious. Absolute garlic I'm potatoes. I'm surprised that they will kill you. you. To reheat anything is death, isn't it? No. No? Every... You, you... No. The thing is, what you don't get is, it's not about yeah. reheating. It's about reheating badly. So if you heat just till it's lukewarm, then that breeds bacteria and you can get poison. If you heat things till they're very, very hot, right in the middle, you're safe. I'm beginning to worry that Nadia watches things like Women Who Kill and she has a deep, inherent understanding of how food can kill. Or not just kill, but could sort of maim or cause serious illness. Bad salad. I know, I've been bags of bad so salad. Dangerous. Who'd have thought a bag of salad could kill you? So, can you... You've never believed me, did you? And then it was all over the news. The Listeria, other day. wasn't it? Listeria? Listeria, yeah. yeah. If you let it go over the date, because lots of things, the date is ridiculous. They just, they just tell you yeah. silly dates. Trying well, to Nanny dies proof stuff. of that. But be really careful with things like bad salad. I slightly worry she's trying to get rid of me, though, sometimes. She's in control of all of us. She's like a character from a Stephen King novel. Who? You. You're in control of our food. I've lost a little bit of weight and my nose is coming back. Your nose? Mm. My mum was saying she notices I put weight on most on my nose. Oh yeah, that's weird. She's a weirdo, your mum. Yeah. Right, so we are ready. All right, ready. and I'm going to go and meet her. Lovely potatoes. So see you later. It's going to be a late yeah, vlog. Show them the finished plate. It's going to be a late vlog. I'm going to show you a shot of the food and then I'm going to leg it out the door. Would you like some dinner, darling, before you go? To the there won't be time. And look at that. Look what I've managed to get. Super On the table. That on the plate. Absolutely stonkingly brilliant. Within. How long is that? Oh, 10 minutes, you Yeah, you? within 10 minutes. Prepare your mum, did you know? Oh, you look gorgeous. In, you look gorgeous. In 10 minutes, your mum rustled that up. Wow. Thank you. Can I just ask, Maddie? <laughs> do you know that your mum is Nadia Sawala off the telly? Uh -uh. Is she? 
Did you know that? I didn't realise that, did you? No, I didn't. What's it like being Nadia Swara off the telly? It's really, really good. It's really good what? It's really, really good. Do you want that? I like you in a shirt, Maddie. I know it really suits her. Is that your costume? That's my Paul yeah. Smith shirt. Is I it? like her in a shirt. Mmm. Nice. Mark. Can I dip it in some salt? Mm. Look, look at that crunch. I heard the crunch. Can you hear the crunch, team? Mmm. Oh, right Those panko crumbs. That's going in. Mm. <laughs> the art of editing, eh? Mm. Ha! Ha! Mm. Oh my. Isn't that good? God, magic. It is so good. I'll tell you another trick there, guys. Don't get your chicken straight out of the fridge and do it because it's not soft. So I Never got that out about an hour, two hours ago, that chicken breast out of the fridge. It's delicious. Never it? get your chicken straight out of the fridge. I, even I know that. Is it nice, Mads? Mm. So good, isn't it? Mm. Is it better than Wagaman chicken? <clears throat> Vicky said yesterday it wasn't. I thought she was unnecessarily harsh. She's always harsh. My girls are always harsh. They just don't think I have feelings because I'm a mum. I know. Funny that, no. Very harsh. Um, get Maddie, do you want to lift down? I'm driving down there shortly. Because we need to make very clear that six or eight is like rough time in the mm. dark. Mark, don't be too disgusting. People will keep leaving comments about you being it's disgusting. About you, it's about you, No, it's about you. Me. No, it's about you. What do you mean? Mm. When have they said things about me being disgusting? Mum, can I have that spicy? Okay, we're here to get our doggies. God knows what they'll look like or what their behaviour will have been like. I'm prepared to be embarrassed. Here we go. <laughs> look at Toppy. What's your nightmare? Look at this. Oh, it's a Oh, it's a It's a very good place that Lawrence is in Crystal Palace. We love it. Okay. Look, she's short, but she's still fluffy. They, they hate it though, don't they? All think, oh, look, she's sitting. Right, home. I'm going to be honest, guys. I have not travelled on the bus much in the last 10 years or so. Um, and recently I've started going on the bus all the time. And my girls think I am so sad that I am so excited about the fact that you can know what time the bloody bus is coming. This, I was trying to explain to Kiki that when I was a kid, you'd go and wait at the bus stop and you'd just wait with a prayer and you could wait hours. Feel, feel Toffee just in the front there, Maddie, on Toffee. your chest. She's so soft. Oh, yeah. So Isn't sweet. she? Chi-Chi, come and have a cuddle. Show Maddie. Don't let her out because she wants oh, fox poo. Okay. All she wants, Sobs, is to go out there and find some fox poo. <coughs> we, can love, we can love them more now. Oi, stop it. You're not going out. Just put a wee bit of weight on. What do you think? Yeah. Look, you match with your black and white. <laughs> She's desperate to go out there and find something to roll in. She might need a wee as well, though. No, she doesn't. She's just been all along the road. Toffee's oh, yeah. had a poo. She just wants to find something smelly. Smelly oh, water. She looks like Ross from Friends. Yes. Toffee doesn't look too wee. Toffee doesn't look too wee. Oh! <laughs> she just smashed her head. <laughs> so there's my mum. Weird not being in New York, isn't it? Yeah, we're not in New York anymore. And that's weird. Anyway, we're going to see what? Don't tell me. You can remember it. A clockwork orange. You look a bit like Malcolm McDowell. Do I? Uh, when was the last time you saw it? Whoa, so long ago. Made in 1971. It's one year younger than me. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And I can't remember if it's set in the future or set in the now. Of then. I don't know. Do you understand what I mean? Did they... Is it set in the future? Or is it a set in a now? I can't remember, but it's certainly, I would say it's a dystopian fantasy in the sense that it, what, like what happens in it can't possibly happen. It's not very nice what happens. I know. No, well, the very, only bit I remember is the eyeballs being, yeah, sort of poked out. So anyway, we might review this over the weekend. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to see you. You missed us. Yes. Have we seen you since New York? 
Yes, we did yes, Green I Finger Dale. Yes, I came over for Mother's Day. People liked your little tour of the garden. Did they? Yeah. Did they really? Yeah, they all so there she is, she's ready. All she wants to do is go out and find something smelly. Toffee, we know 100% would keep as clean as that. But Chi Chi, no way. Look at her, she, she's salivating with the expectation of it all. Go on, release! Hands! <laughs> <laughs> Toffee will come back now, here she comes. We know our dog so well. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to get dirty and stinky. Isn't she? <laughs> she looks lovely. She really she, does. She looks a bit like a rose. She's so pretty. <laughs> oh, she's giving you a hug, Mads. So cute when they do. Oh, God. Oh. Do you think she's old? No. <laughs> you want your dinner? Oh, you want your dinner? I sit down then, see it. Good girl, look at you with your clean fur and your clean jacket. Look, look at us. Good girl. Tell her poor and stuff. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Gigi, lie down. <laughs> no, say lie down, love. Lie down. Oh. No, you have to hold it too high for Gosh, it's crazy. So we're at the British Film Institute, the National Film Theatre. We used to be called the National Film... Oh, it is the National Film Theatre. I used to come here loads when I was a film student. Yeah. Do you think I've lost weight? Yes. No, haven't I? Have you been running? No, I've been oh, to the physio. Oh, and, have you? Yeah, but I can't... I'm not allowed to run for two weeks. Oh, yeah, so, you so I'm going to the gym. No. no. Oh. But yeah, this is the NFT. I've been coming here for years. It's like... Uh, it's beautiful cosy. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Good antidote to more yeah, Brexit misery uh, is my two to the beautiful smelling dogs. Basis, um, where its product uh, standard is instantly recognised, so it has frictionless trade with Europe. If overnight it has mm. to be much care. So, mine and Kiki's dinner, there's Kiki's. Sweet corn, brown rice, wild rice, chicken. Nice? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's mine. And I've taken the skin off. And I bloody love chicken skin. Skinless chicken! I'm going to heaven. Kiki just asked a very good question. And it was, why don't you just have the skin if you like it? The joys of youth. Huh? The joys of youth. She does not know about the cholesterol, about the calories. She just eats her chicken. And luckily you just don't like the skin. I love your eyes. Well, how did you do that? Put eyeshadow on, and then I put, I have clear lip gloss and I put it on top. Mm, it's really cool. Why are you okay. doing that face? Because I'm trying to see, because I've got the wrong contact lenses in. <laughs> got your film notes. Yeah. You love your little A4 film notes. I do. Any day. I do, Say I hello do. Hello to your subs. Hello. You seem a bit slower than when we were together. Has it been nice slowing down again? No, it hasn't. Do you want to be driven at a cracking pace by me? Read it. No, I need you to be driven by you, exactly. Do you? Well, yes. I'm pleased you say that, because I'm worried that you might have got back and just thought, thank God for that. No, the opposite. Oh, so I've just got back. I had to do a bit of filming for um, something you guys don't know about yet. Just got back in time to watch The Bay. Maddie had her show, it went well. Yeah. Nobody fell off the stage. Mm. Yeah. But we're loving our dogs. It's so nice having a non-smelly dog, isn't it? Chi-Chi, come here. Come and show everybody how lovely you are. Chi-Chi. Look, the lovely girl. Go and have a cuddle to Maddie. Look how she snuggles in. Toffee never snuggles. Oh, God. <laughs> Toffee. Don't crown this. Please, Maddie's so right. Chi Chi will have a cuddle. Oh, what was it? Oh, I had to, had to rush off because uh, having to get back and uh, might be picking Maddie up and Nanny Di had to head off. But just come out of the cinema from seeing a Clockwork Orange. What a remarkably bizarre and odd film we're going to do a sort of classic film review about it me and nanny die but malcolm mcdowell 
Bloody hell, absolutely phenomenal. So what do any of you guys think of that film? Have you seen it, A Clockwork Orange? It caused such outrage, had to be, was banned, and then Stanley Kubrick refused to have it um, shown at cinemas because the British censors were so prim and proper. It's quite violent, it's quite sexual, it's quite radical. It was made in 1971. Anyway, I've just been blown away. I feel like I've just seen a slice of cinematic history. Anyway, I'm heading home now. I'm not going to make the bay, and I've only seen one half of one episode, and I wish I could join Nadia in a review, but what I might have to do is just gate crash it for this for for this uh, for the vlog and, uh, and just annoy you. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to annoy you. <laughs> oh, and I can't wait to see the dogs. They've been shaven. Kitty won't, Toffee won't allow that, will you? You always just have to scrub her tummy. Oh, yeah, you're naughty. Look at the way she curls up on you. Mm. She's like the perfect dog. She is. She's big. She's really soft, isn't she? She's, she's the right warm. size though. She's not too big. And she's so. She's so. so no, but she's so kind. Right. I think people on the channel realise how kind Chi Chi is. Yeah, Chi Chi is. To like Toffee because Sophie has a pretty face, but she's evil. Pure evil, aren't you? <laughs> we love you, even though you're bad. She's all old Chi Chi. just takes, Chi Chi always takes second best. Oh, Chi. She's looking at us from side. No, she's trying to prove. This is what has to happen. Chi Chi. What are you talking about? She's watching the food on the Kind of flashy. Oh, smoky sausage. She heard smoky sausage. I can't tell you how weird it is seeing you in a school uniform. We never see our kids in a school uniform. Oh my god, Toffee! Toffee, stop it! Use Toffee! Come here and sit. Sit! You are getting too cheeky. Okay. Gonna see the doggies for the first time. Let's see how they look. Let me see you, Toffee. Oh, what's happened? <laughs> look at you. Too funny. Chi Chi. Oh, you look amazing. Sorry. Oh, yeah. They're watching the bay. Hi, Maddie. How was your show? Good. Good. I'll keep quiet over here. They're watching the bay. I've only seen one episode. I watched number one of the bay and I really like it. So good. Such a clever conceit at the beginning that she's involved with the I know, suspect. I know. And I'm trying to ignore watching it now whilst editing the vlog. We'll ignore it. Put your headphones on because okay. it's good. How yeah. nice is it to have Chi Chi? Chi Chi. Chi Chi, to have you back. Oh, she's so silk and sobs. Chi Chi, she's come here. She's so. Chi Chi, come here. Chi Chi. Chi Chi, come here. No, look at her. She keeps burying and snuggling no. into me like Let a go baby. She comes to me. Chi Chi, come here. Give me, no, she won't. She wants me to stroke her. I still won't forget that, Chi Chi. I won't forget how you blanked me, how you ignored me, how you wouldn't let me stroke the soft inner silky pouch oh of your gosh, ear. Ears. Should be able to cut those ears off and sell them. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, not the bloody <laughs> referendum. So so, oh God, that's all. Oh right. my so God, it's the crankies. It is every. She's looking. My God, she's looking more and more like the crankies, Nicola Sturgeon. And her hair is Playmobil hair. Look, click it on, click it off. It's the crankies. It's the crankies. What? 